another book for my sweet friends. This is Miss Lewis. Y'all ready to jump in? This is called Help! It's a story of friendship by Holly Keller. And there's one name on the top of the book. So that means what? That Holly is both the author, the one who wrote the book, and the who who writes the pic, who does the pictures. The illustrator. Awesome job. Y'all are way too smart. <laughs> That's a cute little picture. One morning, Hedgehog found a mouse covering himself with leaves. What in the world are you doing? asked Hedgehog. I'm hiding, said the mouse, from Snake. From our friend Snake? asked Hedgehog. Yes, Mouse whispered. Fox told Skunk and Skunk told me that snakes are very dangerous to mice. That's silly. That's silly gossip, said Hedgehog. You know Snake would never hurt you. Come on, we can walk together and you'll be perfectly safe. Mouse hesitated. I insist, said Hedgehog. So Mouse went along. Hedgehog talked about little things, but Mouse wasn't paying much attention. He was still worrying about Snake. He looked around very nervously. I think I would too if I was Mouse. He looked everywhere, but at his... Feet, because what did he just do? There's no ground right there, is there? Oh, help! Right down a hole. <gasps> Hedgehog peered down. You should be afraid of yourself, Mouse, not of Snake. It's not funny, Mouse yelled. I've hurt my foot and I can't get out. Are you sure? Hedgehog shouted. Yes, Mouse yelled. Stay calm, said Hedgehog. I'll get help. Poor Mouse. That must be pretty scary, huh? Just then, Squirrel walked by. Mouse has gotten it into his head to be afraid of Snake, said Hedgehog. He was so nervous that he did not watch where he was going. He fell into a hole and hurt his foot, and now he can't get out. Can you help? But Squirrel couldn't help. Uh, it'll be too dark, she said, and, and, and there might be spiders. Oh, dear. Rabbit came along, and the hedgehog told him about Mouse and Snake. You know how to go down hole, said Hedgehog. Rabbit looked into the hole. Uh, hello, Mouse, he yelled. It's too deep, Rabbit said to Hedgehog, and the walls are too straight. I wouldn't be able to hop out. Why don't you go in, Hedgehog, asked Squirrel. Well, because Mouse would have to get on my back and my pricklies would hurt him, Hedgehog said. Mouse started <laughs> to cry. Wishy washy, wishy. The hedgehog heard the grass move. Wishy, 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 wishy. I wonder what that is. <gasps> it was Snake. What's going on? Said Snake. Shh! Hedgehog whispered. Mouse fell into a deep, dark hole. He hurt his foot and he can't get out. Is it a secret? Snake whispered back. Well, not exactly, whispered Hedgehog. It's just that we don't know how to get him out. Squirrel's afraid to go down by herself. Rabbit wouldn't be able to hop out, and I'm too prickly. Please, Snake. You see Snake right there? Then I'll go down, Snake said. No problem. Oh, no, said Hedgehog. That is not a good idea at all. Not at all, said Squirrel. Not at all, said Rabbit. 
You see, Snake, Hedgehog said, Fox told Skunk and Skunk told Mouse that snakes are dangerous to mice. Mouse was trying to hide from you when he fell into a hole. But well, I've always been Mouse's friend, said Snake. Well, of course you have, said Hedgehog. So I'm going to rescue Mouse anyway. How will you do it without scaring Mouse? asked Hedgehog. That's a good question. Someone get a stick, said Snake. Squirrel did it. Now tie my tail around it said Snake. Rabbit did it. Now make sure that the knot is tight. Hedgehog did it. Now watch. Looks like his tail, along with the stick, is going to help the stick go down to the bottom. Oh, now we have to turn the book. Look at this. I'll show you the whole picture in just a second. When Mouse saw the stick, he grabbed it. Snake began to climb the tree and slowly, Mouse came up. Check it out. Don't you love how the illustrator made that big picture? So large that you had to turn the whole book around. Mouse saw Snake and gasped. Then he saw the stick tied to Snake's tail. Snake saved you, said Hedgehog. He did, said Squirrel. He rescued you, said Rabbit. But I would never hurt you, Snake said. Mouse turned a deep shade of pink. Oh, I I'm very sorry. I think Mouse might be embarrassed. Snake, Squirrel, Hedgehog, and Rabbit helped Mouse hobble home. Remember, Mouse's foot wasn't feeling great. They bandaged Mouse's foot, and he lay down to rest. Several mornings later, Hedgehog was taking his walk, and along came Mouse. He was holding a bouquet of flowers. Where are you going? asked Hedgehog. I'm going to say thank you to Snake, said Mouse, and to give him some flowers that I picked. That sure is nice. It's always good to be thankful when people help us. And Snake was very pleased to have them. Oh, what a sweet little book. The end. So that certainly is a story about friendship, isn't it? Because sometimes we have to trust people, even when we don't feel comfortable. Sometimes when we need help, we just need help. Isn't that the truth? Well, my little friends, I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you have a great day. I love you bunches and miss you more. Bye-bye.